Hello friends, welcome to Adhikari Education. In this video, we are going to discuss current affairs in GK quiz for the period of July 25 to 27. You can also find in our website asamexam.com. Let's start. Which is the first city from Northeast to get a manhole cleaning robot, Bandicoot, to ensure minimum human involvement to clean the sewers? The correct answer is Guwahati. This automatic sewer cleaning device has been procured by the Guwahati Municipal Corporation. The device was developed by a startup India company called Gen Robotics under the Make in India initiative. It was funded by CSR activities of Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Guwahati is the third city in the country to procure this innovative technology to clean and hold after Gurgaon, Gurgaon and Kamita. Which state government has recently deployed drones and anti-depredation quick response vehicles to guard forest areas? The correct answer is Assam. These drones would be able to narrow cast any purported movement of the poachers and would tell a blow to poaching in the national areas, wildlife sanctuaries and other reserve forests. Next question. As per the National Education Policy 2020, the gross enrollment ratio in higher education to be raised to what percent by 2035? The target is 50%. New education policy aims to universalize education from preschool to secondary level with 100% gross enrollment ratio in school education by 2030. The gross enrollment ratio in higher education to be raised to 50% by 2035 with addition of 3.5 crore seats. Next question. The book, The India Way, Strategies for an Uncertain World, is authored by the answer is S. Jayashankar. In this book, Mr. S. Jayashankar analyzes the various challenges faced by India on the path to becoming a leading power and also spell out possible policy responses. Next question. Name the mobile application launched by Indian Meteorological Department recently. So the correct answer is Mosom. This application is designed to communicate the weather information and forecast to the general public. The app will forecast weather conditions of around 450 cities which will show weather conditions of the past 24 hours and 7 days. It will also help to show radar images. Next question. Government of India recently inaugurated world-class state-of-art honey testing laboratory in which state? So the correct answer is Gujarat. This honey testing laboratory was established by National Dairy Development Board in Anand, Gujarat with support of National Bee Board. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India has now notified new standards for Honey, Bee Works and Royal Gel. Next question. Which institute has recently developed a medical bed isolation system named Ashla? The answer is Diet, Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. This medical bed isolation system is a low cost reusable solution to maintain proper isolation of COVID-19 patients. The product is modular and portable in design and it can be suitable for different requirements. Next question. Green Agriculture, a project funded by Global Environment Facility, was launched in which Indian state recently? The correct answer is Mizoram. Mizoram is among the first state where the project is to be implemented. The other four states in where this project will be implemented are Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Next question. Who represented India in 6th BRICS Environment Minister's Meeting through video conference? So the correct answer is Environmental Minister of India, Prakash Javedar. BRICS is an acronym for the combined economies of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The BRICS summit took place in 2009 in Russia and it's focused on issues such as reform of the global financial architecture. Later on, South Africa was also invited to join BRIC in 2010, after which the group has adopted the acronym BRICS. Next question, 
who has won Lifetime Excellence Award 2020 in Art System Science for his major contribution in the field of Biostratigraphy, Geology and Vertebrate Paleontology. The correct answer is Prof. Shokshan. Art System Science is the application of system science to the earth. It focuses on the operation of the whole earth including atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere and geosphere. That's all for today. GK quiz for 28 to 31 July will be released shortly. Thank you.